often as part of any CRM limitation, prospects will ask us, can we integrate with ERP? You know, and often that'll mean writing sales order data into CRM, creating dashboards or charts. But what we're really trying to do is direct this user, direct the salesperson, the account executive, to what accounts need their attention. And what we're showing here today inside of our secret CRM dashboards is examples of how we're utilizing the ERP data to actually drive functionality in the application. For instance, I have an example of three tiles here, cross alerts, churn alerts, and gap alerts, where we're not asking the user to run a report. We're not asking them to drill through large Excel files. We're actually pointing them in the direction that we want them to concentrate their day. And at the core of successful CRM deployment, we want people interacting with the platform, not another tool that they have to use. And so as we walk through this, keep in mind, would this be of interest to your account executives, your customer success team, your support team? For instance, cross-sell. We call this, are they buying the bacon but not buying the eggs, right? These are customers that are buying certain materials from us, in this case, a building example, but they're not buying siding, right? They're buying roofing and not siding. You should be reaching out to this particular account. As in this case, a churn alert, as we're looking for customers that are coming off spend history, I meaning they haven't placed an order in a certain amount of time, right? Here's somebody who hasn't had a new order in 90 days, in 180 days. We're making sure that the accounts that interact with us on an order level are getting the attention they deserve, but we're not just asking our reps to make blind calls into the field. We're pointing them in the direction of actual actions that they can take on a particular account. Perhaps you sell inside a volume, you know, you promise pricing according to a certain volume that needs to be purchased. We call these gap alerts, right? There's a significant order volume decrease over a period of time on a particular account. But we're not waiting for the account to churn. We're not waiting for notice of non-renewal. We're proactively reaching out to those particular accounts. Let's go take a look at what that might look like here at Shawnee Service. I'm going to go ahead and push into the Shawnee Service record, and I'm immediately presented with you know, a standard business card, as you would imagine. And inside of that, I have the ability to look at my historic opportunity information calls, as you would with any CRM, the context of the data that around supporting that particular account. But what should have given me the ability to do here is look into the actual ERP data. So here in an automotive setting, what are the top five categories that I'm selling inside of this account? What are the top five products that I'm positioning into this account? And here I'm looking at from a sales comparison, month over month, how am I doing volume-wise? What is that difference that I need to make up moving forward throughout our year? Give me an idea of what the spend mix analysis is across that particular volume and where are they as it pertains to other accounts like this. We're currently at 4% and should be at 11% based on other customers that we have in this vertical. So I'm using AI to present to the particular uh, a AE uh, on where this particular account is spending their money with us. Inside here, I have the ability to take a snapshot of the account, which is going to create a presentation style document that they can take with them into that particular account. So if I go take a look at perhaps what snapshot might look at any given time, here is one that I've created. And this is opened up on the new screen. So I'm just going to go ahead and drag that over. So here I have a stylized guide of all the information that I have ingested via ERP to take a look at all the items they're purchasing, their dollar amounts, kind of what product groups are going. Obviously, this is configurable for what you need for your use case, but the ability to deliver all of this context to the customer about what it is that they're buying from you and what else they should be buying from you inside of your onsite or a QBR, really powerful. We're finding that reps are saving hours a week in prep time just by able to do a single button press and get cohesive reports that show across all the allocation and spend, what else that we should do in being together on. As they come back to that kind of view set, yeah, I have the ability to see, to set targets on a particular account. So if I wanted to track actual to the target for a particular customer and then measure my percent to date for that value, this is done on gross sales in this example, but certainly can be done to product levels as well. And this is where that gap report with, that I mentioned earlier is generated from. And here I have from a campaign perspective, all the different items that we talked about earlier, right? A gap alert, product gap alert, churn alert, all associated shawning. So as a particular uh, salesperson, when I come to this account, I have all the topics that I need to cover with this particular account and the data behind it to prove it. Another interesting item is if I take a look at the inquiry tab, it will give the rep the ability in real time 
to actually work with the ERP data that's stored within the CRM. For instance, if I want to know from a variance year over year, as opposed to where I was last year with this particular account, I might want to come around and say, okay, by category, how am I doing with this particular account? And actually, wow, we're down 116,000 year over year on cooling and drive belt. I might want them to push into that and pin on cooling and drive belt and drill into the actual part type inside of that. So I can see now for cooling and drive, all the different accessories that are associated with that and the variance of spend. So as I'm working on an existing account, I immediately can see where it is that I need to concentrate within this account to restore it back. And I can continue doing that as much as I'd like. So if I want to view it by a specific item, I can drill down to that as well. So really just giving us the ability to get to the actual product level. And this is based on all order line item history that are fed from the ERP to CRM for analysis. So really great use cases on the account level. But what if I'm a manager? What if I'm somebody that wants to go on a you know, road call? Who should we be going to see with my particular team? I can circle back to the dashboard level. And now I'm looking at my entire team, right? My entire territory that I'm working on. And I have the same items dashboards, et cetera, across my entire team. But I can also use that inquiry item to drill into how my team is doing. So I might want to say, okay, show me by branch how we're doing as a group. And I can see that my central team is off by 266,000 year over year in that particular group. So maybe I want to now use central as my pivot point and push in to the different sales reps in that particular territory. So if I click on sales reps, I now can see the individual reps that I'm working on. Go ahead and grab Kurt, who's down over a million dollars from last year, and see, okay, what customers inside of that account should we go see? So I simply highlight Kurt, and I go see customer name. So I can see, okay, St. Michael Spares down 900, Shawnee down 400, Switch Automatic. If I'm doing a ride along, these perhaps are the accounts that I want to go see right away. And it's, I can continue doing this as much as I'd like. So now if I want to use St. Michael's Fairs and pull down and say, okay, show me what parts were down inside St. Michael. I can see our brakes, drums, rotors, discs are down 56,000, pads down 53,000. So not only showing that information, but not in the old way of CRM, here are the orders that this particular person had, maybe a legacy graph, but actually drilling and working inside of that data inside a specific account, really giving me that clarity, that view into what's going on, not only in an individual world, but my entire team. At any point in time, I can go back to that pair of view and start over. So really impactful way to drive functionality and prevent people from being users of CRM and helping them become people who actually interact with the data to drive their day.